It is very rare that I stop work in the middle of the day to record. This article from Think Advisor, very highly qualified magazine, had this stunning article, stunning to me. Advise, are advisors giving conflicted Social Security advice? This is written by a, a new paper. The findings are by a new paper from David Blanchett and Jason Fickner. They are two of the you know higher ups, if you will. Jason Fickner is the executive director of the Alliance for Lifetime Income. Those followers here know that I'm an education fellow at that nonprofit. So you can see the article here, and I'm not going to read every last word, but let me just point out here. Financial advisors who want to keep up with the latest academic retirement have many places for turning. True. The question is, do financial advisors' asset and comp commission-based compensation models cause them to deliver subpar Social Security claiming advice? The findings of this article to me are troubling, to say the least. And then what do you have is that they wrote a paper, uh, David Blanchett and Jason Fickner, former chief economist of Social Security Administration, who is now vice president chief economist at Bipartisan Policy Center. I try to not bring you, you know, opinion from Mr. Average out on the street. I try to talk about, you know, criticize whatever, you know, critique, if you will, the findings of the very top end. And, you know, these two, you know, undoubtedly qualify. David Blanchett is the head of, this is, uh, you know, Prudential. Uh, so, in, in their research. And so what we're having is th this LinkedIn post demonstrates the main results with strong evidence that households that work with an accountant style advisor claim later on average, while those with commission based broker claim earliest. And this is the troubling thing. The paper doesn't specifically say for sure this is the case. And then you can see it here coming into this piece. I would expect all households to claim later. There's mathematic reason for that. Here it is. I've discussed it here in the past. Let's go to Mr. X. This is, and I'm not going to rehash this entirety either. Your basic principles is the PIA, which is the primary insured amount, which you can get from your SSA.gov account, is generally too high. If I made a company and said, okay, this is the amount of the pot that you're paying into the pot, how much would my company pay on the back end once you called me up and said, okay, now's the day, me meaning that, and you're not going to get away from this central principle to start. Reasons for that, which is that if, if you, and let's just use this simple example, $2,000 a month PIA, and this is just for illustrative purposes, which is that if you delay beyond full retirement age, what you have is this de delayed retirement credit, which is 8% of the 2000 And then on top of that, every year you have COLA. Again, we are not going to debate, discuss, you know, conclude whether or not COLA is an accurate reflection of inflation. We're not. But anyway, what you have is a new PIA you add on top so every year you have this COLA and then you, COLA, and let's just use 3.2% in this year. You can see the formula there. Uh, yes, you can't see the formula. There it is over there. But you can see the point is that I've increased your PIA by the COLA amount every year. Well, on top of that, you get the DRC, which is this delayed retirement credit if if you delay beyond 67, let's just use that as the full retirement age, because this video, the principles are going to persist. So now what you end up having is you have this increase, which is the COLA adjusted amount plus the PIA, meaning this is your new higher amount. So on top of that, if you are married, what can happen is that the spouse can receive up to 50% of the higher earning spouse. So you can see it can be up to 50% of this number here. So let's say the spouse's PIA is 800, gender 
intentionally omitted, right? No one said that the male is the higher earning spouse. But the spouse decides to claim early and claim 7, 700 because they wanted to claim prior to full retirement age. Now, we're going to say this is the, the general case because you can see down here I've got this careful section, right? Which is the 700. So when the higher earning spouse claims, you won't, this spouse will not get 50% of the 700. And here, depending on when you reclaim, you get a lower percent, not of the 50. So now this particular person claimed and got 32%. You get 32% of this number, not the full 50. So if all else is equal, if all else is equal, that you're deciding, okay, do I claim early or do I withdraw from your retirement savings account, then yes, then you've got a, a more complicated thing. Now you can see here when you are right on the line that if you have excess cash from there, that those safe investments can yield five and a half percent, which is now a higher. So now you've got a more complicated soup, but that doesn't make this wrong. That doesn't make this wrong. Now, you have to be careful, right? Because there are assumptions here. And one thing that all followers should know about you know, Jay's Corner is that, okay, this is the base case, base case of which that's average. Nobody said that anyone is average. Certainly not me. Because there's the financial reality. So let's just use the easy one Right, let's just say, for example, one of the two of you is in dramatically different health. Okay. In that instance, right, for example, maybe you're not going to get the DRCs. Maybe it's that you're going to have a much higher usage, utility, urgency for the money today than you are in three years. That is different, meaning that... Now, all of a sudden, the base case, which is here, now has to be tweaked and thought of independently. On top of that, right, you're getting income and Social Security benefits do are included when you are deciding about the APTC, which, which is Medicare, sorry, which is Affordable Care Act, or Medicare IRMA. These are topics, you know, of course, not of course, but for those of you who do not know, are ones that, you know, I have discussed extensively. I think that that is very fair to say. My article here, the Alliance for Lifetime Income, which just not coincidentally happened to be the same location that these two gentlemen work with. With. Back to the article, knowing the math of delay is clear. That, in other words, the general principle is clear. Okay. The issue, you he would have expected that it would be matter what type of advisor you used. If you had an advisor, you would be lightly claiming it, but that's just not what we found. And that is why my stomach sank. My stomach sank that you would get different advice. And that they, you could get data enough that these two people, highly qualified people, were able to distinguish the method of compensation to an advisor and correlate it with the Social Security optimization choice. That, to me, is a bummer. A bummer. And for that... What would I say? I would say that it goes back to my general principles of this newsletter in general, which is plan first, right? In other words, if you think about other videos on this channel, please go and search for them, etc. You will see that you will see Mr. X and this some version of this frequently where we are adding up all of the sources of cash 
to meet your expenses. And then from there, you've got these balances and then the strategies within these balances, which are brokerage account, Roth IRA, 401k, IRA, that what you are in fact doing for me, for me, when you're considering the plan, and then you are then filling in what you are actually doing to fill in these rows. The fact that anything in a different order exists is weird to me. Weird meaning doesn't sound right, doesn't pass my smell test. So I'm a commercial person, right? I think that everyone knows that, um, you know, and I find this weird meaning that the way that I deal with this is the following, which is, look, we can do it a la carte where I t make no presumption about babysitting line items, none. And just handle your single specific, your single topic specifically, it's here. And then of course, you know, the most valuable service, I will stick with that by far. The most valuable service is over here, which is a one-time lifetime. You call me up on any topic. I have people asking me about what do I do about purchase of a new car? What do I do about my homeowner's insurance, etc.? What are the layers of insurance that I need for the rest of my household belongings, even though I don't know what's inside your house? All of those questions unlimited over here. But I just, and that's not the point of today. The point of today is to understand that these general principles are certainly the case, what I have discussed in the past, that these very highly qualified people might agree with that, that meaning that the math is, noting that the math is clear, that it needs adjustment, right? Because nobody said, for example, right, that this is not a topic for someone if you have Social Security alone, for example. Right, meaning that you need this to keep the lights on. Or, for example, that you, that current cash is most, or other reasons that, you know, current cash is most important. You need to have the money in a project which sits in a different account and you can't, and it's not advisable to receive the cash or divest from those types of projects because the possible return later is so much higher. These are all different dials that need to be considered. And, but it's important here and it's disheartening here that this article even exists, that the findings of this article exist because it tells me that the base case isn't well understood first and then you find out whether or not these special circumstances exist and then you find out to say, okay, to be careful now because the base case may not apply to you. From there, we then proceed. Well, before we talk about stocks in the long run or stocks, you know, stocks outperform other asset classes, that is self-evident from the past. I'm talking about how to deal with your specific situation, which can be notably different because all of these line items change from person to person. And importantly, your health and important input here because if you're Mr. Perfect, you need to be thinking about a lot different time frame than from someone who has a challenging health situation or family history. If you have questions, info at gh2benefits.com. gh2benefits.com is also the place that you can find this. That's not the full, yeah, candidly, the full reason because I already know that the vast majority of readers, viewers, whether this goes up on YouTube or not, aren't going to call. 
but I want people to have a very good handling of the fundamentals. From there, you can adjust to your individual situation. That's it for today. Thanks. Thank you.